thanks for checking out the Cartesian product tutorial from MathCelebrity.com. My name is Don Subsick, founder of Math Celebrity, and today you're going to learn how to find a Cartesian product of two sets. So the Cartesian product takes two sets, and in this example we'll call them set A and B, and it's the set of all unique ordered pairs using one element from set A and one element from set B. We denote the Cartesian product as A times B, and using set notation, the Cartesian product is read the set of ordered pairs such that A is an element of set A and B is an element of set B. So let's walk through the Cartesian product formula. We're going to take two sets, set A and set B, and, and we want to find out how many ordered pairs we expect in the Cartesian product. So it's worth going back to one concept in set notation called cardinality. And the cardinality is the number of elements in a set. You can also count it, you can also call it the count of the set. So for set A, we're going to denote the cardinality of set A as two braces enclosing the A. So if we have a Cartesian product A times B, we expect the cardinality of the Cartesian product, or otherwise known as the count, to equal the cardinality of A times the cardinality of B. And each ordered pair we denote A sub I and B sub J, where I is the ith element in set A, and J is the jth element in set B. So let's go ahead and look at an example here. We'll take a set A with two elements, A1 and A2, and set B with three elements, B1, B2, and B3. We expect that the Cartesian product has 2 times 3 equal to 6 elements inside it. The 2 comes from the cardinality of A. We've got two elements in set A. The 3 comes from the cardinality of B. There's three elements in set B. And if we build this grid, and I highly recommend this grid, when you set up the elements, take your first set and set them up vertically. Take your second set B and set them up horizontally. And then you just pull over this element to this element, this element to this element, and you build all your ordered pairs. And it's a nice detailed grid for you to build and understand the Cartesian product. So I've set up set A in red, set B in blue. So you could see each unique ordered pair combination. And if you count them up, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's walk through an example now. So we'll take two sets, set A and set B. And just like last time, set A has two elements, one and three. Set B has three elements, two, four, and six. So we would expect the cardinality of the Cartesian product to have two times three equals six ordered pairs. And I'm going to list them out for you here, first in the ordered pair notation. And next, I'm going to build the grid. So as you can see, we have six elements in the Cartesian product, and here's each ordered pair. So once again, we list set A going down vertically, set B going right horizontally, and we just pull in the pieces from each set and make our ordered pair. So once you have your ordered pair, you list out your Cartesian product in this format. So we use the little set brace. We list every single ordered pair that we came up with. In this case, there was six. So we did one, two, three, four, five, six, and we close the set notation with the brace, the right brace. So if a problem asks you to list the Cartesian product, this is how you would do it. So I want to thank you for watching the Cartesian product video from MathCelebrity.com, and I will see you in the next video.